I wanted to share it on my thing, but I'm like, then people are gonna think that I'm like into politics and I'm not. I don't even know. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. I, the only politics I know is just you. You don't want, you want to stay away from politics, man. All right, it's dangerous. Oh, oh shit. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna go a little bit wider than normal. And you're gonna come to your chin, so you're gonna feel a different stretch. So let's get the movement down first before. Down. Yeah, to your chin, right there. Stretch your chest out. Yep, I know, four. Now it's, it won't, now. Okay, <laughs> we usually do. <laughs> I'm just trying to look professional right <laughs> now. Hmm? One. Two, I'm just pushing it forward. Nine, one more. Ten. The reason why I go close is that it gives me a line to draw where the bar has to stay. Because if we come forward, then I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So you're used to bringing the bar like this. So you're going straight up. So what we're doing right now, we're targeting the top part of your chest right here. It's a, oh, this is a real old school move that a lot of people don't do no more. Arnold and all of them used to do it. They used to bring it to the chin on the flat bench. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Oh, you know, that's how. <laughs> He is like the he, Arnold, Arnold, like Arnold the Yardvark. I, I read his whole, he's like a encyclopedia on bodybuilding. I had a lot of time to read. A lot of time. You did? Yeah. I just didn't learn, learn how to write, uh, write and uh, read. Wait, what? Yeah. When did you, did you, when you figure out how to talk, let me know. No, no, no. You no. learned how to write and read? Yeah, I learned how Game to read and write in prison and then I started reading books. I said that backwards, see? But that's why backwards. I have friends like him that are educated that can help me get better <laughs> and not make fun of me. Because if you make fun of me, then I gotta grab you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. He makes me, he, he's one of the very few people that makes me like a little on edge sometimes, like nervous. Yeah. I don't know why. I see him more, I guess like, uh, I don't want him to head, his head to get blown up, but I respect yeah, yeah, him a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess like a father figure, I guess. Some, yeah. Something like that. Uh, I think I'm older than him. Yeah, who's your dad? <laughs> Three, four, five, so come on, six. We're gonna do flat bench. We're gonna target the middle part of the chest. It's, it's key to developing strength and size. Ah, this is right here, the bread and butter right here. You have to be able to bench. And moving, doing the weight on, on, on the bar makes you use more muscle, so you're actually pushing more weight. You're able to push more weight. So this is a key to building strength and mass. This is why Jay-Z has double Ds. Let's get it, nice and control. Elbows in, boom, up, one, two, three, four, five. So like with him today, I'm gonna do we're pretty much gonna sit here. We're gonna we're gonna do ten sets. I do a lot of German value value training. Can't speak a lot, and I forgot to put in my teeth today. German value training. Then German that that volume. V oh yeah, volume training. You're thinking of volume. Well, That's I can't pronounce it. Yellow thing that makes. Look, I have a hard enough time speaking English, so. You're not selling it anymore. But now you're doing it. Volume. 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 Vol oh. <laughs> volume. <laughs> Volume. Yes. <laughs> I just can't pronounce certain words because of my guy. mouth. <laughs> and you know, you know, English wasn't my first language. Really? It wasn't. What was it? I had to speak Spanish at the house. Oh, I thought you were going to say your first language was the language of love. No. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Eleven. These are the ones that count. 12, good. I notice uh, I can push a lot more, but easier. It's, um, it's a technique that's used by power lifters where that's why like, they teach you to have this underneath this so when you're pushing, this turns into a spring and then you're like this. So the weight's coming down, you're actually helping your legs go down, you press, it gives you more power. I, I had to learn because I was used to just benching like this in prison, and then I had to keep my head up to be looking at everybody. Yep. So I had to break that habit to be able to move more weight. But you don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. in fact, I remember we were on that bench right there when you first showed that to me. Yeah. And it like, it made all the difference in the world. Yep. It was weird. It's just little adjustments, and that's like the, the thing that I love to do is, is 
teach people how to bench, how to deadlift, and how to squat. Those are my three favorite ones that I love to teach. And somebody <laughs> sold it to them. Because nobody ever wore that before. But wait, let me finish my story. Well, this involves... You have to admit that you're a victim of marketing. Yeah, but I didn't wear it. Okay, all right. Okay. So I got home, I well, put wait, it... Wait, he gives you this gift and you don't wear it? Yeah, I gave it away. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you get to me. I get to me. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I was like, let me finish my story. I was like, let me finish my story. Same thing, just 10 this time. Knees down, yup. One, nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, good. Yeah, so I get home, you know, cause I, I watch I watch stuff on TV. And back in the day when I was when I was moving a lot of dope, I, I used to buy all the Gucci stuff and you know and wear all the expensive stuff. So I was like, man, maybe I could pretend like I'm Gucci again. So I put it on, and my wife was like. You look like a bodybuilder slash wannabe drug dealer slash trying to be a pretty boy. And I was like, a lot of good combinations right there. She's like, no, take it off. <laughs> she says all that, but not in a good way. <laughs> yeah. So then I met, I met him, right? And I was looking at all his pictures and I was like, oh, this guy's like a hipster. That's how I know it. That's the only way I could describe it. I was like, this guy's like a hipster. I was like, He'll be into this bag. I think so. So I crossed my fingers. I was like, I'm gonna give it to him as a gift. So I get here and I gave it to him. He's like, oh man, I love it. The next day he had it. You wear it every day? <laughs> you wear it every day? We grew up in different times, right? So that's why. I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My dad was like, you're supposed to wear it like down here, like not across your chest. So I was like, it's different now, dad. Hey, I got a joke though. Your dad? Am I old enough to be his dad? Probably, probably. Hey, but I got a joke. You know why he wore the bag? What? Because he was in the Navy. Navy's <laughs> 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 That's like politics. That's like politics. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, this is number six. No, I was always playing cops and robbers. I was the robber. <laughs> I always tell people, if you didn't own a gun, by the time you were 12, we had different childhoods. Two, three, 10, good. Four to go. Four to go. Where's, um, how do you keep track of the numbers? What do you mean? Oh, like I have... we're doing, like we're doing 10 sets, you're like, you got four to go. Okay, cool. All right, or, on phone. Phone, uh, whatever. Put on my you phone, phone like, every yeah, time? Yeah, I count on my fingers. And then when you have two lifts, that's why I always go like that to you. Cause... Oh. Uh, secrets okay. of the pros, man. No, it's just... Secrets of the pros. Yeah, yeah, but, it, but at the same no, time... He didn't, no, he only shows me when there's two left. There, there's only two left. Uh, what's gonna come with your mind if you said you have eight left? The thing is, is that one thing I've learned... No, I've he learned, don't care about, like, part of his job is to get into my head. Yes. And, and that, that, if he's not getting into my head, he's not doing his job. You know, everybody, you can want to do this, well, I want to look like that. Looking like that is one thing. Doing this, it's totally different. That's what I learned from this guy. I can want to look a certain way. I can want till I'm blue in the face, but until I want to do this, forget about it. Now, yeah, what was I it last, it's not three years ago. Was it four years ago when I first met you? <coughs> four years ago, when you walked in. It was four years ago. Yeah, he, uh, Tim introduced me to him, and he's like, I want you to uh, work with this guy. He brought him in, and I told, he's like, how long? I was like a year. We did it in 10 months. 10 but months. He's a hard worker, man. We I went, went from about 325, 330 to uh, 220, what did I get to? 221? 221. He was wearing his high school uh, jacket again. I put my yeah, I put my Letterman jacket back on. And That's I was sick. like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, it felt good. Oh, it felt so good. I put that thing back on, I'm like, Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Three after this one. Three left. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Tap, tap. So I have these, these ropes that I use to condition my, my clients. And everybody hates them. This sick animal right here was the only one that would come in and be like, hey, are you bringing the ropes out? <laughs> I think I need to look for some of those videos. It's great, because what he does is, it's the one where you strap it right here, and he's holding it back there like this. And I'm like, I'm pulling yeah. on it, and uh, it's almost like a bungee cord. I pull yeah. it. It's pull, he's pulling my weight, but it's it's kind of. I pull him strong enough that he almost like he couldn't hold me a couple of times. <laughs> and then the crazy SOB lets me go one time, and I'm like, bum, bum, bum. I almost <laughs> fell on my face in the asphalt out there. Because I already knew there was times he was trying to get me. I mean, that's why like we have a friend <laughs> him. He's like our our mascot. <laughs> nah, he's a really good friend. Um, I was like, here, Tim, you hold him. I already knew. As soon as he held him, he almost ran him through the wall. Let's go. Two left after this. One, bottom of your chest. Two. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Nice. This is about volume and time under tension. What he's doing to me right now is more reps, more reps, more reps, more time versus a few reps at very heavy weight. And you get different results, different stuff happening. He understands it better than I do, but we can put a ton of weight on this and I can do one or two, or we can put a little weight on this and I can do 100 with rest and stuff. And I'm actually doing a very different sort of a thing for my chest. I have a very orthodox way of training. <laughs> it is called spending 17 years in prison, reading every kind of book you could possibly think about in fitness. I mean, from Arnold to Frank Colombo to, I mean, everybody. From strongman to, I mean, there's all kinds of trends now about fitness. I'm really old school. I stick to the classic moves pretty much. Building strength, building muscle, burning fat. It's, it's really simple. It's just people make it complicated nowadays because it's marketing. When you know what you're doing with the German, with the Valium training, you build that strength so that one day, yeah, he's able to hit those 500 pounds on the bench. But you have to build for it. You can't build a house on small pillars. The other thing too is, he said the uh, fat burning part of this is really important too. So if I do two or three reps at a very, very heavy weight, sure I'm stressing my muscles at a particular moment, but I'm not getting an enormous amount over time of blood flow into those muscles. You know, the muscles set in the different layers, and I'm not spending all of that extra time heavy breathing with my heartbeat elevated, which is also cardio. So I'm actually doing some cardio here. It's, it's like this, you clean up your diet, and if you lift properly, that's what I mean, like heavy enough. It doesn't have to be super heavy, but heavy enough to do reps, then you're, you're knocking two things out the park. You're lifting weights and doing your cardio. But that's just me. I'm JC. I'm JC. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, Come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. One more. I would've been a good Marine, man. Man, we're not coming back. So just be ready. No, you would've been the guy that was watching somebody say that, and then you would've. No, I would have been the one saying that because I would have been a little Napoleon on the horse. A little Napoleon? <laughs> they don't do horses anymore. <laughs> they don't do horses yeah. anymore. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the fly machine. So when you're coming, when you're coming in, I want you to go almost go like this, with this, with the palms, like in. Yes, because I want this to light up. But don't just do it slightly while you're pushing the bars in. Boom. So the difference is up here, if I'm coming this way. So we're going, we're going pushing, and then you're gonna turn a little bit just to get more of a squeeze right there. And then, like, just no, to no, no, rotate just on the pressure? Like, slightly, nothing, boom, that's it. As you're coming in, just go boom, like that. Okay, I see. Seven, eight. Oh, not that far close. Nine, not right now. 10, 11. 12. Easy when you come back. A lot of people go back too fast. Anytime you're doing any kind of shoulder exercise on a machine, and even with dumbbells or a bar, always bring the weight down slow. Everybody goes like this or like this, and that's how you uh, end up with one of these injuries. Yeah, really that's bad. what they're called. Injuries. Yeah. I, look at, I only went to third grade. Let me make my point. Third grade. 
Only been out for five years. I've been on three TV shows. I'm not bragging. I'm you, not dude. bragging. I'm not I bragging. I wrote dude. one book. Wrote, wrote one book. Okay. Didn't go to the Marines, but I did 17 years in this like service. I mean, state. close enough. It's like missionary work. 17 years there. Yeah. Four years in. I did 17 years missionary work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they did. For free. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't get paid at all. They gave me three meals. That's it a day. <laughs> 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 Seven. Now squeeze. Eight. Yup. Nine. Nine. Ten. Eleven. This last one, just squeeze, 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 and bring it back slow. Slow, slow. Let me get that negative. Good. That's another thing that a lot of people, they watch too many YouTube videos on fitness, and they, uh, They'll use small tools that are used to help you like not hit a plateau. Plateau And tools like this, negatives, low reps, squeezes, all that stuff are tools to help you get better, but you're not supposed to use them every day. Drop sets, all that stuff, they're tools, tools. Because your body adapts to it, and then when you throw the house to sink everything at the body, guess what, it's used to everything, now you need to do double to be able to work. When we first started, I was really key on him not doing more than 20 minutes of cardio because he likes to run. So if I left him there, he would run for an hour straight. How many miles you, you were, like when you started going crazy running? A lot, a lot, crazy a lot, running? yeah. So I had to watch him. I had to watch him and tell him, no, dude, we're starting like this because your body get, adapts to everything really fast, really fast. So you gotta make sure that you everything's calculated to be able, I don't know how to explain it in big words. I just see it in my head and I always just get it done. It, it, it seems like you have some some standard and then the bump with those drop mm -hmm. sets or something. And then and then some standard and then the bump. And it's that it's that bump, that shift that triggers growth, loss, volume building, yes. loss, whatever it is that you're looking for. That bump is the adjustment. But if you don't have that standard to build on top, right? Yep. And that's how you explained it to yep. me one time. And then, then you can hit the bump with the drop sets and negative. Where the hell are you talking about? The way that you tells me how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. One guy doesn't know what to, how to say it, and the other guy doesn't know how to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need three. You need three guys. That's why we got three right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just know how to, how to have it in my head. He knows how to say it. You know how to film it. That's all we need. Three. Four. Five. Yep. Six. Seven, eight, nine, give me two more. Good. When he was dropping all the weight, he hit like a month where he was just like, it was just everything was falling into place. Weight loss, he was looking good, his strength was going up, all those, the key factors. So I tell him, you're ready today for a cheat meal. You're gonna eat a whole box of cereal. No, and that's when my energy was down. Oh yeah, he was it. He was like, it's catching up to me. I'm feeling it now. You know, yeah. when you're when you're getting really low carb, you start to feel it. So I was like, you're gonna go buy a box of cereal, you're gonna eat the whole gallon of milk, the whole, he's like, I'm not doing that, man. I just lost all this weight. I was like, do you trust me? He's like, unfortunately I do. <laughs> So, so I went to uh, I went to the store and I bought like a family sized box of Frosted Flakes. He's like, "What's your favorite cereal?" And I'm like, "Cause I came in here it was for an afternoon." Yeah. And I was just like dragging. He was like, "Here's your workout. You got to go eat." So I got a giant box of Frosted Flakes and a half a gallon of milk. And I got my buddies on a little face time thing back there, Facebook Messenger, yeah. or whatever it was. I'm like, "Hey guys, I'm doing my workout." And they're like, "What are you doing?" And I just sat there and ate the whole box of cereal. I felt great. The next day, though, man, that's when you sent me the picture in your bathroom. I still have it. He, he, his stomach, everything was. All his muscle bellies were filled. Your, his whole body just took that whole box in, and you dropped weight, which was weird. You dropped two pounds because I did. I dropped two pounds from the moment I ate that meal, and it, I must have dropped a lot more in fat weight. Mm -hmm. And it all came into like my muscle. Six pack came in that day. Yeah, it was the weirdest. <laughs> but I was so depleted before that. Like I came in, I was just like. <sighs> I'm ready for my workout. There's a hormone in your body that goes down. I I, I think it's Lipton. I, I can't phone phone. So like stronger body for carbs one day just 
Yup, boom, and it blows up. It's the well, biggest. It was it, but it was, what was months? Yeah. I think we had gone. You really hadn't cheated in three months. Yeah. You hadn't cheated in three months. You know, uh, pretty much, if I see that, yep, right there. Just like that, nice and slow. Oh, or wait. Open it right there. Boom. Don't go past that. That's that's the like the, the key thing, man. It, it's figuring out, like, not everybody's the same. Everybody's different. He was able to go out long term without a cheat meal. You know, some people are not able to do that because their body, their insulin, everything works different in everybody. You gotta be good at looking at the small things. Real delt. A lot of people don't do real delts. Why? Because you don't see them, so they don't do them. You know, I'm really big on real delts. Two more. On the last one, leave right there, slow, bring it back, slow. Hold, and then bring it back, slow. Good, all right, give me 10 push-ups. See how, you see how big his chest is, how big his back is? So pretty much all I'm gonna do is build his shoulders up more, bring his lats out a little bit more and shrink this. That's how I, I see it in my head. It's how I scope people when I look at them. He's like Leonardo. His legs got really big too. You know why we have big chests, guys like us? I mean, they were hard workers. We got big backs to carry the costales on our back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mexican is that joke. <laughs> Most people won't get it. It's a Mexican joke. <laughs> uh, oh shit! The good today, man. <sighs> now right. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now so he can say something nice about me. <laughs> you know what they say? If you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Yeah. If you're open, he has something to offer. If you're willing to trust the weirdness, trust the process, he's good. He got me where I needed to go. But then, you know, I have that. I went through Marine Corps boot camp, right? I've had some trials and tribulations a little bit here and there, but I think just about anybody can gauge from that. I mean, he's just a freaking softy on the inside, but he knows what he's doing. And he doesn't come across like a scientist. He doesn't come across like someone who's read it all, but he has, right? So he's a little street, but you kind of, it's, it's honest. It's real. That's why I'm with him.